And we were running a whole collection of experiments to induce insulin resistance in mice using dietary methods and then reverse that using either intermittent fasting or diet or exercise. So we were- And the way that you induce a diabetic response in an animal is to, is to put them on a pretty high fat diet, right? So, so that was another yeah. epiphany for me, right? I'm sitting here with, you know, tasked with the, with the objective of trying to make animals insulin resistant so that we can use them as a testing ground. And when I started looking in the literature, I was like, how do I make an animal insulin resistant? Okay, I probably gotta give them a high fructose diet or a high sucrose diet. Uh, and so I was looking in the literature with that preconceived notion and then it would, I would read, you know, uh, we induced insulin resistance in laboratory animals by feeding them a diet containing 70% saturated fat uh, for eight weeks. We induced insulin resistance, we induced type two diabetes in laboratory animals, you know, by feeding them a high fat diet, high fat diet, high fat diet. And I was like, this is unreal. You feed animals a high fat diet and they develop diabetes. Why is it that when, when in, the, in the public, when you say the word diabetes, the first association with the people makers is sugar. Right. Right? Yeah, I had Neil Bernard on the podcast. I, I just put an episode up with him last night, but I had did a previous episode with him where we talked a lot about this and yeah. people went crazy. They're like, that can't be true. Mm. People don't understand the confusion of the headlines and the studies that are being cited. Just a lot of misinformation. Welcome to the video. This, is, <laughs> this cracks me up. These guys always give me a laugh. Robbie and Cirrus. Um, this is a great, go check this out. All right, this is on Rich Roll's podcast. I did a podcast with Rich Roll, helped Rich Roll get going back in was it 2010 or something. Shocking truth about carbs and diabetes. So he interviews uh, Robbie and Cirrus, and they talk about the importance of sugar and how sugar doesn't cause diabetes. <laughs> but then the Mastering Diabetes website, which is ran, owned, founded, whichever, by Cirrus and Robbie, uh, I'm not sure if they're getting some ESL people to write their blogs. But if you go here, it says article written and reviewed by Cirrus, all right, October 16th, 2020. Okay, so we scroll down here. This is, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Totally contradicts everything in their video interview with Rich Roll anyway. So it's totally unscientific and I'll prove it. Okay, so natural sugars, all right, natural sugars. We think of natural sugars, all right. Just first of all, set the tone. What is a natural sugar? A natural sugar sucrose is a natural sugar glucose is a natural sugar fructose a natural sugar these things aren't made in a lab all right it's not like synthetic testosterone testosterone and you know exogenous testosterone all right there's no such thing as the sucrose in the food you eat whether it's a banana or a bag of sugar being from a lab okay it's it's always naturally derived from the beetroot or the fruit or the beet or the cane or whatever yeah, anyway, so sugar is a naturally occurring, sucrose is a naturally occurring sugar found in various amounts in plants like fruits, vegetables, nuts, corn, carrot, lentils, etc. Sucrose is also produced commercially, uh, not in the lab, in the factory, just they dehydrate the cane to get the juice, pull the water out, and you've got the powder. It's basically a green powder, spin it so it's white and you're good to go. All right, so it's from cane sugar and sugar beets. What is sucrose? And if we look at the yeah, the carbon structure of it, the chemical structure, this is what sucrose always looks like. Whether you cook it, whether it's from a mango, a lentil, or a bag of white processed refined cane sugar, this is what sucrose always looks like. Now, the the guys at Mastering Diabetes, I call it Mastering Confusion, they say natural sugars refers to the carbohydrate chains found in whole foods like fruits, legumes and whole grains. They can still be sweet, but their chemical structure is very, this is this is basically it. Their chemical structure is very different to that of refined sugars. Wrong, all right, wrong. Sucrose is always sucrose, okay? So they're saying the chemical structure's changed. They're wrong, that is fake news, false information. Mm. People don't understand the confusion of the headlines and the studies that are being cited, just a lot of misinformation. No wonder people who do their protocols are so confused when they go to dinner and someone says, hey, you're eating fruit for dinner, but you're diabetic. That's bad. Fruit has sugar. And they're like, no, it's natural sugar. And the person's like, no, dude, all sugar's natural. And they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wikipedia says so. Every biochemist agrees. Sugar is sugar. All right. Sucrose is sucrose. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's from the banana or the banger sugar or the lentils, it's still sucrose, okay? 
Just like if you have lead, if you put lead in your food, like lead, the poisonous stuff, if it's in your bloodstream, lead, all right? It's, it doesn't matter if it's in your banana or your cake or your freaking steak or whatever you're eating, it's still lead, it's still doing damage. So if sugar's bad, it doesn't matter the source, okay? But sugar's never bad, okay? In my experience, and that's just fact. But anyway, that, that's, that's, that's off topic. But these guys contradict what they say. Um, refined sugars are sometimes called simple carbohydrate. Fruit is simple carbohydrate. Glucose, fructose, and sucrose are all simple carbohydrates, all right? <laughs> Glucose is a monosaccharide. Monosaccharide meaning short chain mono, all right? It's not a disaccharide like sucrose is. It's, it's just hilarious. Uh, so, all right, so syn synthesized. <laughs> This sugar's not synthesized, man. All right, let's Google up what synthesized means from a, a, a chemi chemistry standpoint. Okay, so synthesized, the definition of synthesized is made by uh, chemical, you know, chemically produced or electronically produced. The sugar's not chemically produced, all right? It's not like it's testosterone where it's chemically produced in, in a lab or something like that. <laughs> Oh man, all right. It's If it's gonna be synthesized, it's by photosynthesis from the plant, okay? Um, okay, refined sugars and the foods they're typically added to are high risk. Okay, so these guys say that sugar, sucrose, causes diabetes. Yet then they have a picture here of fruit which contains sucrose, and then they've got a picture here of different types of little crystal sugars from the cane or the beetroot, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so you can eat beetroots, they say, but you can't eat the sugar that comes from beetroot. You can eat fruit, they say, but you can't eat the sugar that comes from the fruit. So you can you can eat glucose, fructose, and sucrose, but you can't eat glucose, sucrose, and fructose. Okay? What a blatant contradiction. Let me know down below. Does anything they say make sense? In, in my book, it doesn't. Total contradictions. They say sugar's good, but then sugar's bad. Refi Here we go. Oh my God. Refined sugars are made in a lab. Made in a lab. All right. I've been in a sugar factory before. Okay. It wasn't a laboratory. I've made sugar myself. All right. Where we get some cane, we twist it, and then we dry it on a rock for a few days. Come back, and you've got this crystal from the sun, maybe a few ants in there. And you've got this, this crystal sugar, right? And if you span it around, you get rid of the green element and you're good to go. All right? You can make sugar on a rock in the sun with no tools, just twisting the cane, hitting the cane with a rock, twisting it, and you can make sugar in the rock. Okay, Refined sugars are made in a lab. <laughs> Addictingly good. Oh, my God. These guys are jokes, man. All right, And then they'll say that refined sugar uh, you know, increases your risk of diabetes, etc. You know? So then it's like, no wonder people will do this protocol and just can't sustain on it because they get so hungry because I think all they can eat is fruit and some potatoes. They can't have any real sugar, well, not real sugar, but you know what I mean, like sugar, sugar. And uh, they just they just can't sustain it. You know? Well, they think sugar's bad, but then someone says, but hang on, rice is full of sugar. And they're like, yeah, you're right, you're, you're right, you're right. Look up the glycemic index of sucrose. Let's do it now. Okay, glycemic index of sucrose is 65. Okay, glycemic index... Sweet potato, these guys recommend sweet potato. All right, it's 54. I right, that this, this, this get some, you know, let's get some baked ones. All right, let's get some sweet. I've, some, I've had some sweet potatoes there that are so freaking sweet. 94, here we go. So 90 up to 94, 54 to 94 for baked potato, sweet potato. Okay, uh, globus in index, water, melon. All right, so they say that sugar's bad because it enters the bloodstream too quick. 80, watermelon has 80. All right, so these guys say that, you know, sh uh, <laughs> sugar, refined sugar spikes your blood sugar too much. But it's only 65 glycemic index, you know. What about uh, the other stuff out there? You know, the potatoes, etc. which I, oh, I recommend it all. I recommend fruit, starches, and sugars. All right, I have much better success at reversing type 2 diabetes than these guys do. Even... Even Robbie Barbaro, who is, you know, in the, I'm, 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 I'm going to, there he is, it's, it's Robbie here, okay. 
this was Robbie down here. Was it 2016 or whenever it was? Yeah, I think it was 2016. I was in Los Angeles and Robbie came with a, a ride with me, a bike ride. All right? I said, come out and hang out with us and let's, I'll get your insulin sensitivity better than ever. End of the day, he's like, man, like my insulin sensitivity is like the best it's ever been in my entire life. All right? Just one day with me, okay? Forget these clowns, all right? They, they're confused. They know the truth, but they're not sharing the truth. Why would you want to hire, employ, or buy products from people out there who hide the truth from you? Or it's sincere, but sincerely wrong, okay? When it comes to your health, you don't have time to put it in the hands of people who are uneducated or sincere, but sincerely wrong. You want to get results, real results. You want to be able to maintain an easy, that easy lifestyle for the rest of your life versus have constant cravings or constant guilt these guys guilt you into thinking that you're eating too much or that sugar's bad or that carbs are bad or blah, blah, blah. Or they confuse you. They, they confuse themselves. All right? So I think they mean well, but then again, they know the truth. They're not sharing the truth. Anyway, just forget them. All right? Don't employ them. I've asked both of these guys to be on my live debate, live chat. I get left unseen. And I've got Robbie onto YouTube back in the day. Okay, so Look at some of my early videos where I helped him get onto YouTube. But these guys, they live in Los Angeles. They're just chasing the money. And it's sad. It's really sad that they would have lack of integrity to know the truth, but not actually be consistent with it and totally share it. All right. When it comes to people's health, you can't lie, guys. You can't hold back misinformation. When it comes to the health, people's diet and nutrition, especially diabetics, it's a serious condition. Okay, It's a serious condition. You guys got helped out, man. I helped you out. Please pay it forward. Is the first association with the people makers is sugar, right. right? Yeah, I had Neil Bernard on the podcast. I, I just put an episode up with him last night, but I had did a previous episode with him where we talked a lot about this and yeah. people went crazy. They're like, that can't be true. Because he was talking about the real cause of this condition is people eating too much fat. Yeah, 100%. And that it's just, yeah, that, that flies in the face of everything that you thought that you knew. About. The disconnect between the research and what the public believes and understands is mind boggling. It's, it's massive. Mm. Absolutely yeah. mind boggling. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have this epiphany. <clears throat> so I had this school, you know, we were running a whole collection of experiments to induce insulin resistance in mice using dietary methods and then reverse that using either intermittent fasting or diet or exercise. So we were- And the way that you induce a diabetic response in an animal is to, is to put them on a pretty high fat diet, right? So, so that was another yeah. epiphany for me, right? I'm sitting here with, you know, tasked with the, with the objective of trying to make animals insulin resistant so that we can use them as a testing ground. And when I started looking in the literature, I was like, how do I make an animal insulin resistant? Okay, I probably gotta give them a high fructose diet or a high sucrose diet. Uh, and so I was looking in the literature with that preconceived notion and then it would, I would read, you know, uh, we induced insulin resistance in laboratory animals by feeding them a diet containing 70% saturated fat uh, for eight weeks. We induced insulin resistance, we induced type two diabetes in laboratory animals, you know, by feeding them a high fat diet, high fat diet, high fat diet. And I was like, this is unreal. You feed animals a high fat diet and they develop diabetes. Why is it that when, when in, the, in the public, when you say the word diabetes, the first association with the people makers is sugar. Right. Right? Yeah, I had Neil Bernard on the podcast. I, I just put an episode up with him last night, but I had did a previous episode with him where we talked a lot about this and yeah. people went crazy. They're like, that can't be true. Yeah. 